Hello, Scorpio. This is the pretty coach. Oh, okay. This is the pretty coach oracles. This is name. You should come here also, Juday. And I am coming, honey, to do a reading for you guys. I'm very grateful um, and excited to be doing these for you. So give us one more card, please, for Scorpio. Listen. Six of swords. So the first card that came out for you was the magician. That's good news to me. Nine of cups. Six of swords. So for me, my initial and intuitive message is that you guys are going to be stepping into your power um, as very powerful manifestors. You're going to realize that you had the power all along to create the outcome that you always desired. You want your abundance now. Even though you've come across as a little guarded and selfish in a connection you've not really been giving yourself to. You want contentment. You want to be content in yourself. And you realize that you have to manifest that. After doing that, it looks like you're going to either go on a spiritual journey or you're already, you're going to be moving. You're going to be taking a trip somewhere, possibly towards what you feel makes you happy and abundant. We have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, honey. So it's somebody who you're going to be wanting to put that Mimi Tata on, okay? You're going to be wanting to put it down, dick them down, you know, pussy whip them. I don't know. I'm just saying, whatever. Sexual energy is there, but not just sexual energy, just new creative pursuits and energies. And what creative pursuits is babies sometimes. Moving on. Spirit, why is the magician here for the Scorpio? Um, Ace of Wands is fire sign energy. The magician could be Aries. The Cups um, strength card just came out for you. Congratulations, Scorpio. I feel like this has been um, a long time coming for some of you guys. Maybe not everybody. Strength is here. I feel like with strength, you have gained you've gained the insight that you needed spiritually to make a real damn move in the physical, in the carnal, in your ego. Okay. I feel like you're finally tapping into the spiritual part of yourself and that is what's helping you to actually manifest what you want. Why is the magician here we got two cards that flew out of the deck those cards are the knight of pentacles and in reverse excuse me and the chariot in reverse so as of now i'm not really understanding why they came out in the reverse i need to make sure that no cards because if they are there's a possibility that's wrong but it's not it's right so moving on as of right now, I do get the vibe that you guys, um, you're feeling discouraged right now. And that's how come there's been no integration. That's how come there's been no progress. That's how come there has been no forward movement. This is cancering energy. So I feel like somehow you guys are in your feelings a lot. You are in your feelings in some type of way. You guys are very discouraged at this time. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. So the Knight of Pentacles is usually about putting in work and putting in effort and just not even being afraid to do so. But with it being in the reverse, this could uh, indicate laziness, idleness, not doing anything at all, taking no action whatsoever, putting in no effort whatsoever. But a lot of times this is also a part that I feel like people don't understand about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's not just being lazy for no reason. A person is discouraged, even though people may look at you like you're just being careless. You don't care at all. No. No, 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 no. That's normally not the case. And for me, every every time I see this card, the vibe that has always been associated with it for me is that somebody is depressed. This energy is depressed, and that's how come they don't have no get up and go. And I feel like they can work for the money. This is not about the money part. They have no get up and go to manifest the type of life they really want. There's a difference. Moving on. Spirit, help us. Oh, I'm going to ask for a best possible outcome for this. Best possible outcome, please. For mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody's got to make a choice, honey. Somebody's got to make a choice. Scorpio, you better make your choice. You better make your decision. All you got to, I mean, I'm serious. Your manifestation power is as easy as you choosing 
The high priestess showed itself, but I'm not entirely sure if it came out in the reverse or if it was upright. When I picked it up, I picked it up upright. But, um... High Priestess Energy is what's coming out first to clarify this good old Nine of Cups. Which for me, somebody could be trying to block someone here. But I don't really get that vibe. I feel like somebody is possibly guarded or just content with themselves right now. But with the High Priestess showing up here, that's Cancerian Energy, but doesn't have to be. Um, this is about a woman to me. like you're being selfish to somebody possibly towards someone else because this high priestess energy is who already got your heart or all up in your circumference you understand what i'm saying that's who when you think about abundance and you think about your contentment and you think about peace and you think about when you were happy and you think about when you are absolutely okay this high priestess energy is who comes to your mind instead of where you may actually be but for those of you who aren't necessarily with someone else you are content with yourself high priestess energy is about being intuitive it's about um <laughs> It's about knowing spiritual truths, but not necessarily being able to clearly articulate them all the time. So you're content, some of you guys. This may not be everybody's energy, but some of you guys are content within yourselves because you know, um, you know something. You know the power that you have to manifest. Page of Swords is the second card that came up, clarifying this Nine of Cups energy. So somebody to me could be getting ready to receive some form of communication. You guys could already be messaging each other back and forth, sending text messages, emails, phone calls, whatever. You could already be in communication with this high priestess energy. And y'all could be spying on each other. You know, just looking at each other's shit every few, whenever you need to, I feel, whenever you need to. So the only card that actually showed up is the seven of swords, but we got two other cards that fell out. This one fell out first. Queen of Swords. So I'm going to do Queen of Swords first, then put the Seven of Swords. I feel like <laughs> this is like a continuation or a story added, okay? I feel like somebody could have cut you off, Scorpio, um, <clears throat> because they knew something was going on, some deceptive shit, some sneaky shit was going on that um, maybe you weren't totally aware of but this person was and they tried to tell you about it and the way that they might have talked to you may have been harsh it may have been immature they may have said some really sly shit you know what i'm saying that hurt your feelings but it was still the truth it really was and like they had to cut you off or they felt the need to cut you off and it was because of the sneaky shit you was doing eight of wands could have dealt with some form of messages or conversations that you were having with someone spirit any more energy surrounding mm -hmm. there is some more spirit stuff because there's a card that just came out nine of cups so i feel like those messages were somebody was talking about their feelings either you scorpio was mentioning feelings to someone other than your high priestess or somebody else was you know, an outside source was messaging you that was not your high priestess. Um, could have been someone that was seen as very attractive to you. You saw this person as extremely attractive. Okay, spirit, moving on. Why is the six? Ooh, this is exactly what I kind of got the vibe of, guys. That's why I was smiling earlier. I don't know why I'm saying earlier, like with the H earlier. I don't know. But anyways, guys, listen, I feel like some of you Scorpios are headed back to where home is, honey. You Scorpios is headed back to where home is, baby. Home is where your heart is, honey. That's going to be the name of your damn reading, Scorpio. Home is where your heart is. But as of now, though, you guys have been struggling with anxiety. You have been feeling stuck like you cannot make this move. But, oh, trust and believe me, you can. You have every right to. And you're the magician. You can... Make up your mind to do it. Look at this damn shit at the bottom of this damn. The fucking Ace of Cups. Let me tell y'all now. Taurus had energy with y'all in it. So you might want to go and look at the Taurus reading. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. If you were Taurus and you came to this video trying to check up on your Scorpio. Mm -hmm, 
You already know. <laughs> What's going to help you get out of this feeling of mental, this feeling of stagnation or being blocked? What's going to help you come out of obviously mental abuse and possibly emotional abuse? What's going to help you to come out this feeling of fear, worry, anxiety? It's going to be you going within and getting very clear and very real with yourself about how you feel, what you want, and your spiritual path. You could have Virgo in your chart, Scorpio, okay? Or the person that you're dealing with could also be a Virgo. But this energy is about going within and allowing the most high to be um, a lamp to your feet and a light into your path. <laughs> That's what I was trying to, and that is what's going to put you um, on your road back home, okay, and out of doubt and out of indecision. Scorpio, that has been your reading. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd ever like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at theprettycoacheoracles.com. If this reading resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the notification bell so you can get all these readings, okay? Spirit be dealing, spirit be talking. That's all I got to say. I represent for spirit. So, okay. But anyways, guys, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.